did a little thing on Modern Rescue. Did you work with, uh, did, who did you work with on the show? I worked with, um... With Chris? Was Chris on the show still, or was he gone by then? I only had one scene, I'm trying to remember who was in it. Um, Mariska was in it, but I don't remember... There's somebody else in it, too, I don't remember who it was, and I'm okay, picking myself. Curious. But, uh, I ended up booking a, a job in L.A., and so I went to L.A. for a few months to do this job, and I said, well, you know, I'll try the whole LA thing, see how that goes. Um, six years later, I was still living in Los Angeles. What show was that in LA? Is that correct? Or was it, what, what was uh, it? No, that show was actually a pilot for Disney Channel. Oh. Um, that never, it never went anywhere, but it was supposed to be like High School Musical, the series. Right. And it was really fun. It was a musical pilot, and it was, it was an absolute blast. Right. Um, and that's it. So that's how I ended up working for Disney Channel for the next few years was because of that. And so that's, you know, it's, it's, so my, my whole career has sort of been a series of taking chances and having opportunities come my way and me just kind of seeing where they take me. All right, now, now, now here's the thing. Let's talk about this. Okay. Let's talk about Shadowhunters. Yes, let's. Right, real quick. I am curious. Uh, did you know the books before you did the movie, before you did the TV show? I knew of the books, um, but I hadn't read them yet. So I started reading them during the audition process. Right. And by the time the show started airing, I had read all six. And, okay, all right. And I'm assuming you saw the movie before you auditioned too. I did. Right? Mm -hmm. And you spoken to Miss Collins before that as well. I didn't, but I actually, I didn't meet her until recently. This is, now I'm curious. <laughs> this is a good question, right? Yeah. Now, did you guys talk about the role at all when you guys met? We did, because I, I ran into her, I think it was a Golden Globes after party or something, and I saw her and I went, okay, because I'm a huge Lily Collins fan, and I, there's no way I couldn't go up and say hi to her. Are you guys Lily Collins fans too? <laughs> Um, and she was so kind. She, I didn't expect her to know who I was. She knew immediately who I was before I even said anything. And uh, she was just incredibly kind and, and just an absolute sweetheart. But also, Jamie Campbell Bauer and I have the same birthday. So we tweet each other every year on our birthdays and just, you know, shadow hunter to shadow hunter. That's awesome. It's, it's pretty fun. It's birthday, we're birthday buddies, it's fine. Did you meet the writer of the books before you did the show? I didn't meet her until I think it was episode five of season one, Cassie came to set um, while we were shooting, and I was so nervous. I emailed with her a bit, um, but I was so nervous to meet her. Sure. <laughs> because, you know, she's, she obviously cares so much about the story and about this character, and, and I just wanted to do right by it. But she's lovely. There's, no, there's nothing more terrifying than meeting somebody who created something in their head that you're playing, because yeah. I've had this happen too. Yeah. And then you're like, please tell me I'm not embarrassing you. Right? That's what you're thinking. That's please like, don't hate me. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, am I turning this, am I bastardizing this whole thing? Exactly, you know? exactly. No, but she was, she was very kind, and it, it was amazing to watch her walk through these, these spaces that she's created in her head, having them finally come to life, the Institute and the Jade Wolf and all of these other places, Magnus's apartment, um, seeing her in those spaces and seeing her explore them physically, it was really, really neat to watch. Now, because of these two universes that you had already kind of explored, the TV version, uh, I mean the movie version and the, the book version, when the TV show started, was it as you pictured the world to move into, that you were moving into, or was it, was it similar or was it different than what you pictured? It was similar. I mean, there, there were definitely a lot of changes from the book, and in right. particular between season one and season two of Shadowhunters, there were a lot of changes. Uh, we completely changed like the tone and the look of the show. And the showrunner, too. Right? And the showrunners, yeah, and, and all of that. But it, it was very similar. Um, I'll never forget the first time I walked onto the Institute set, which is kind of like our main hub for the Shadowhunters, where they work. It's their, their, uh, their war room, kind of. And. We all walked onto that side, I was with the whole cast, and just looking out at it, it was so grand and so complete, and it was a, it was a real space. It didn't look like a sound stage, it, it felt real, and for the first time, it kind of hit me what we were about to do, and what we were about to create, and I, it was breathtaking. Those are amazing moments, yeah. right? Where you transcend all of the things that you've been working on, <laughs> and actually been reading about and picturing in your head, yeah. And it, it, this is a, one of the greatest things as an actor is you walk onto a set and when you went up there sometimes you're actually in a space that you've been picturing in your head and you're like, how did this actually happen? You're like, how did I, the, the steps it takes to get there. And I, it's breathtaking, right? Because you sit there and you can't believe you're there. 
Absolutely. There's actually been a lot of those moments on Shadowhunters because I love the book so much. The like the see I don't know if you guys are you guys fans of the book series as well? Okay. So you all know what I'm talking about. For example, the Sealy Court scene. When we finally got to shooting that, uh, it was sort of a weirdly deja vu moment for me because I'd read it so many times, I'd pictured it so many times, and then we were actually there creating it. And the our finale of season two, all of the stuff at Lake Lynn with the angel and all of that, it's such an iconic moment from the books and getting to actually live it and bring it to life and, and hopefully do it justice was just magical, for lack of a better word. Magical. Supernatural magical. It's absolutely. <laughs> okay, I could go on forever. Why don't you guys, do you guys have some questions? Can you guys come over to the mics? Come over to the mic, where's the mic? Do we have a mic up there? We do, right, right here, right? If there are questions, please step on up and let you guys ask the questions, because I can find her in Los Angeles if I really need to. Okay, we'll go to Toast. Oh my gosh, I'm... <laughs> Hi. Is that a rune I see? I see runes, that's amazing. between him and Magnus that's pretty fantastic that I can't wait for you guys to see. Um, but Javi is just the most incredible human being. We all love him so much and having him a part of the show is, it, it's an amazing moment for all of us because we're all fans of his and somehow he's a fan of, the, I don't know if you guys know kind of what happened, how he ended up on the show. Season I'm, three we're discussing? Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, he's a new character on season three. I'm a huge fan of Hamilton. Um, and I had been tweeting about Hamilton, and of course I follow Javi, and he started tweeting about Shadowhunters. And I went, wait, 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 hold on. And so then we started talking, and then he started talking to our showrunners, and eventually they said, alright, that's it, we're putting you on the show. Like, if you have time, if you ever have time, let us know, and we'll write you in. And they did. And I'm just so glad they made it happen, because it's, it's really amazing to get to see him come into our world and, again, watch him walk around the set and do all of that. It's, it's really amazing. Thank you. Thank you.